Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to score the weight machine in three different ways. Before you start the match you can set the weight machine so that the stopper is over the blue section, the magenta section, or the yellow section. To score points you need to lift the wheel side up until the stopper is under the bar. If the stopper is under the blue section, you score 10 points. If you leave the stopper under the magenta section, you score 15 points. And if the stopper is under the yellow section, you score 20 points. It is important to note that they do not mention in the rules how you lift the wheel, because there are many, many ways to lift the wheel. Some of them involve pushing down on the green bar to the west, and some of them involve lifting up the wheel directly. The weight machine setting doesn't actually have to stay the same when your robot is moving it. Here's a little video showing what can happen. Unlike the previous video, there is not going to be a beginner method, because I believe that the navigation to the weight machine from base and the development of an actual mechanism to push down or lift up the weight machine wheel is going to be too difficult for a beginning level team. Let's start with the intermediate method. The only thing that lifts up the wheel is actually a little arm that pushes down on the green bar in order to lift up the wheel. The weight machine is very likely to slide to the left a bit, so we have a little stick at the bottom that catches the weight machine's green bar in order to prevent it from sliding too far down and to the left. The robot will then reverse and catch the weight machine with an extra little hook that's attached onto the arm that's on the motor and push the weight machine back from the blue position to the yellow position. For the advanced method, the robot uses a claw which is attached to an up and down lift which is controlled by the motor. This claw will already have a little stick that helps prevent the green bar from sliding too far down into the left, and all it has to do is push down on the green bar and drive a little bit forward in order to ensure that the weight machine is above the stopper. The lift is controlled by a rack and pinion system powered by a large motor. The large motor controls a large gear which forces the lift up or down. There are a couple wheels that I also added in order to make sure that the rack stays in contact with the pinion and does not slip. The very advanced method actually lifts the wheel directly using a lift powered by a winch. The winch will pull a string in order to lift the lift up. However, to go down, the lift relies on gravity to pull the lift back down. Here is a little picture of the winch mechanism, which is powered by the media motor. In order to lift the weight machine, the robot has a rod with gears on it that catches on the bottom of the bar of the weight machine. This prevents the bar from sliding down into the left and allows the robot to hold it at a much higher angle than normal. Here in this picture you can see that the weight machine is at a very high angle but is still not sliding down. The robot will then back up into the east wall in order to ensure that the weight machine lands on the yellow position. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we're literally about to hit 200 subscribers. I hope you all enjoy the video, and leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Next bunch of videos are actually going to be me trying to score up to 580 points this year with more unlimited amount of time, so be sure to watch out for that. I will also be doing some other videos like reviewing some robots in between, but my main project is going to be that 580 points on the FL replay field. Thank you and bye.